both of you can see the screen right tamam yes sir yes sir okay so today we are going to start the electrochemical cell as i told you and this class is uh, with me both of you are for 1.5 hours okay so okay sir thank you now we are going to start this electrochemical cell now what is this electrochemical cell so we already studied about the type of cell electrolytic and electrochemical cell and in this we had the example of galvanic cell or voltaic cell this cell is also known as galvanic or voltaic cell in which we can go for the example that is daniel cell daniel cell is basically example of this galvanic or voltaic cell now <clears throat> i'm gonna draw a structure which is very important so be with me see what we have see there is a container and there is another container <laughs> which is of the same size almost you can see now in this container of oh, this feeding this yeah are you able to see this pin Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. See, we have there is an electrode like this. There is another electrode here. <clears throat> i'm just giving you an example of this and i'm making the diagram clearer so that it will not be hot spots and this is connected let's say this is your voltmeter <clears throat> now this topic is very important regarding this chapter <clears throat> like the coulomb's law now see what will happen here in this container you are going to introduce znso4 one molarity of znso4 which is a salt in the same way you are going to introduce another salt that is one molarity of cuso4 and it is in aqueous solution that is understood not in solid state now see after some time what you will see is very important here this strip is made up of zinc this is strip or this electrode is made up of zinc and the solution which is present in this container is your znso4 in the same way if this is your cuso4 solution so this strip or the electrode is made up of copper is that clear yes <clears throat> now see what will happen here after some time this zinc from the strip will start dropping into the solution in the form of zn plus 2 in the form of zn plus 2 as you know that this uh, entire scenario basically the electrode on the left hand side is made up of zinc and when uh, after some time you will see that this zinc will uh, lose its electron in this strip and go goes into the solution and becomes zn plus that means basically after some time in this electrode or in this strip the concentration of electron increases yes or no umam and austin please be focused and answer me yes sir as you can see this strip is made up of zinc and zinc leaves its two electron in the strip 
and goes into the solution in the form of Zn plus two. So that two electron will be here alone. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Yeah. So when the concentration of electron on the left hand side increases, what is the nature? Uh, what uh, what will be the uh, what will happen? So basically, electrons will start moving from left to right. As you know, if you have two tank of water and they are connected with a pipe on middle of the level and one of the container or tank is full of water and another is half of the water, uh, uh, half uh, uh, partially filled, that what will happen? The water from the completely filled will start moving towards the lower filled water, partially filled tank. Is that clear? So in the same way, higher potential to lower potential go, goes. And you know that the current will start from right to left. You know that in class 10, you have studied that the current flows in opposite to the flow of electron. So I just proved that the concentration of electron is here more. It is higher potential for the electron. So electron will start moving from left to right. So current will start moving from right to left. Is that clear? Yes. Now see what will happen here. Since this is also, there will be Zn plus 2 as uh, already because in this solution, ZnSO4 is there. So Zn plus 2 will be there. And here Cu plus 2 will be there. Now see, this Cu plus 2 is because of the salt present in this solution. Now see, when electrons come from left to right, what will happen? As you can see, this Cu plus 2 has positive charge and this electron has negative charge. So this Cu plus 2 will go and attach to this copper med electrode. So what I want to say is that first of all, on the left hand side, it is anode on the left hand side it is anode and on the right hand side it is cathode now what we saw here is that left hand side oxidation is going on and it is anode and it is negatively charged we will talk about this loan later first of all concentrate here on the left hand side what is going on this is your anode and on the left hand side you can see zinc is converting into Zn plus 2. That means loss of electron and loss of electron is what? Oxidation. Yes or no? Austin and yes. Mahmuddin. Yes. And on the right hand side, you can see cathode is there. And what is happening on the right hand side? It's very simple. Cu plus 2 is gaining electron and reduce itself. So this will be reduction. So in this chapter, whenever they ask you on the left hand side, what will happen? It is fixed that on the left hand side, oxidation will happen. On the right hand side, reduction will happen according to IUPAC. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Now see, there is a smart way or very easy trick to learn this. And that uh, to a term and that term is basically your loan. What is this loan? Loan L stand for right, O for oxidation, A for anode, which is negatively charged. Why it is negatively charged? Because you can see electron is more here. That's why it is <clears throat> negatively charged. Also, it is very important to note that on the left hand side, whenever you are going to see the cell, left will be anode. First of all, left will be anode and there will be oxidation. And Exactly opposite will be on the right hand side. Right hand side, if left is anode, right will be cathode. And you can see on the left hand side, oxidation is taking place. Then right hand side, reduction will be taking place. If left side is negatively charged, then right side is positively charged. Don't be confused because till date, you have studied that cation and anion. You are aware of this, right? These are types of ions. Cation is positively uh, charged and anion is negatively charged. But when we talk about electrode, there are two types of electrode, anode and cathode. So till now, you have studied anode is positively charged 
and cathode is negatively charged but here in electrochemical cell only anode anode is negative anode is negative and cathode will be positive is that clear austin and humamuddin yes sir only here so you have to be careful don't be confused and it is negative because this zinc from the electrode loses its electron in the in this electrode and goes into the solution so only electron left and electron has negative charge that's why it is negatively this i have written positively that is uh, till now you have studied about this is that clear first of all you are going to write it then i'm going to introduce uh, some more concepts Let me know when you are done with this. I'm done, sir. Austin? Sir, what's the full form of Lone? Lone L for left, O for oxidation, A for anode, N for negative. And for the right hand side, you can write RRCP. Left 
what is the opposite of left? That is right. Opposite of oxidation, reduction. Opposite of anode, C4 cathode. Opposite of negative, that is positive. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, there is a very simple question I'm going to ask you. Okay. Uh, see, this was the scenario. I'm going to just make it uh, as soon as possible. This was two containers. Okay. In which two electrode was there, which is connected with a voltmeter like this. And this was made up of copper and this was made up of zinc. Also, there was ZNSO4, one molarity of ZNSO4 on the left hand side, one molarity of CUSO4. Now, see what I told you if ZNSO4 present one molarity in the solution, that means if you are going to dissociate it, you will be getting Zn plus 2 plus SO4 minus 2. Yes or no? This will be the concentration of ions in the left container. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. Now see, after some time, what we saw is that zinc break down into Zn plus 2. Okay. This Zn plus 2, extra Zn plus 2 coming from the electrode. That means on the left hand side, on the left hand side, the concentration of Zn plus 2 will be greater than concentration of SO4 minus 2. Yes or no, both of you? Because some zinc ions will be coming from the electrode. So that's why the concentration of Zn plus 2 increases in the solution on the left hand side. Yes or no? Yes. Now, when we are going to talk about on the right hand side, you know, this was CuSO4 and if you are going to dissociate it, you will be getting Cu plus 2 plus SO4 minus 2. This was initially they are equal. Initially, you can see they are equal, but initially the concentration are equal as well as the charge equal. But what did you see there? Electron electron increases and Cu plus 2 here and electron from here migrated to right hand side and uh, this Cu plus 2 goes and take electron and uh, stick to the electrode. That means some of the concentration of Cu plus 2 goes to the uh, goes to where uh, electrode and uh, stick there. Okay, like Cu plus 2 gains two of this electron uh, from the electrode and it will be converted into Cu solid. That means on the right hand side, the concentration of Cu plus 2 decreases and SO4 minus 2 increase, increases. Basically, the concentration of SO4 minus 2 actually not increases, but the reality is that the concentration of Cu plus 2 decreases and with respect to that, we can say that this SO4 minus 2 increases. Okay? Yes or no? Yes. Now, to increase the durability or life of the battery, we use salt bridge. Basically, as you can see, after some time, the neutrality will be, uh, what we say, finished. Neutrality will be, now what we can say, what is a good term for this? Initially, the system was neutral, positive, negative, positive, negative. But due to this, you can see positive charge on the right hand side is more than the negative charge. Are you getting my point? Initially, they were neutral. And on the right hand side, you can see negative charge is more than the positive charge. Are you getting my point? Yes. So this yes. neutrality is violated. And hence, the battery will have a very minimal life, very less life. So to increase the durability or uh, long life of the battery, we use salt bridge. Salt bridge. Now we will talk about this salt bridge. First, you are going to write this some points. <clears throat> and then let me.
Are you done with this? See, I was talking about some like this this was again we need to draw this see this was the scenario right now what i was telling you is about the salt bridge actually it maintains the <clears throat> potential as well as the neutrality which exceeds the life of a battle or cell you can see so see how it works actually so this salt bridge i'm gonna write some point write with me for salt bridge inverted youtube shape it is inverted youtube shape <clears throat> and it is filled with some uh Electrolyte like KCl, K2SO4, KClO3, NH4, NO3, ammonium nitrate, <clears throat> and also some paste of paste of oh, paste I wrote it. Paste of agar agar solution what is this agar 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 is basically polysaccharide polysaccharide you will study about this polysaccharide monodiatride in biomolecules this is filled with this <clears throat> this is filled in the <clears throat> salt bridge and it is very important to note that this salt bridge there are some uh defects that we need to know first you are going to write it <clears throat> Let me know when you are done with this.
<clears throat> are you done with this yes sir okay see let's say you are going to introduce kcl here now what will be the work of this introduction of this electrolyte in the salt bridge you know that cl has negative charge and k has positive charge now and here you saw that the zn plus 2 concentration increases than so4 minus 2 that means basically here the positive charge increases yes or no concentration also increases and the positive charge also increases that means the neutrality has ended or neutrality has violated so what does this electrolyte actually do so basically this negative charge will go and neutralize it again are you getting my point both of you yes now see yes, here you have seen that the copper positive has lesser concentration than so4 minus 2 that means here the negative charge increases and to neutralize it again this k plus will come into play and neutralize the solution and in this way it increases the life of the battery are you getting my point yes sir now this is very important to note that mobility or you can go for the speed you can say speed of air cation will almost equal to speed or mobility of anion are you getting my point the speed with which k plus will go right will be same as the speed cl minus go to the anode or left hand side how uh, getting my point very important it is and uh, there is a question that has been asked about the speed of the cation and anion in salt bridge they have equal speed let me know when you are done with this Are you done with this? Yes, sir. Okay, Austin. Yes. Okay. Now see. Ah, uh, first of all, this is a very important point. KCl is not used as electrolyte. in if you have ag electrode of ag thallium lead and mercury why it is so because ag will come in contact with cl and it precipitate in the same way tl cl in the same way pb cl2 are you getting my point this will be precipitate precipitate that is insoluble and you know what will happen the battery will swell and unfortunately it will be dead are you getting my point yes yes sir okay please do write it main function of what salt bridge so first of all to maintain electrical neutrality to maintain electrical neutrality the second one to complete inner circuit without
mixing of two solutions without mixing of two solutions and the third is to reduce liquid liquid junction <clears throat> Please do write it. Then we will come for the, we will go for the cell represent. So what is that to reduce? To reduce liquid liquid. You oh, can nice. write the, oh, yeah. I just wrote it in short form. You can go for liquid liquid. Are you done with this, everyone? Both of you? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Now the next topic is very important because it is basically it is same. Uh, it comes from the same topic. It is subtopic, and this is very important because if you have heard about the nurse equation, it is related to that. And the topic I'm gonna write the name is your cell representation cell representation so i'm going to ask you something in the electrochemical cell which electrode is present on the right hand side what was the name of the electrode that present on the right hand side cathode cathode and on the left hand side anode this should be clear i told you from uh, uh, iupac it is fixed so if I'm going to write like this, first of all, you are going to see this. Uh, let's say there is a representation like this. Zn solid slash Zn plus 2 equals double slash Cu plus 2 equals slash Cu solid. Now see. Before understanding, going to this point, I would like to come here. Uh, be focused on the right hand side. If I'm going to write M solid slash M plus 2 equals, what does this mean? This means basically you should remember from class 11 the concept whenever anything is in its elemental form, elemental form or molecular form elemental form or molecular form oxidation state will be zero what does this means uh, basically what does this mean elemental form like metal sodium potassium calcium and molecular form you know cl2 n2 like this this uh, this uh, this all have oxidation state equals to zero so you can see there is a metal which is in its ox uh, which is in its elemental form so the oxidation state of this metal will be zero now this is ions, this is not metal, this is ion and it has charge plus two. So it's oxidation state will be plus two. So basically it is going from zero to plus two, zero to, to plus two. That means it lost two electron. Yes or no? 
Omam. Yes. Yes. So it loses two electron. That means it's clear that it is oxidation. This is how we recognize. Okay. If single compartment is given, and if it has been written like M S plus uh, M plus two equals slash M solid, you can see directly. From plus two to zero, it is going. That means reduction is taking place, and reduction takes place only at cathode, and oxidation takes place at anode. Are you getting my point? Yes. Now, if someone will ask you, write a reaction with the help of with the help of this representation. So, as I told you, what is on the left hand side anode? Yes or no? From IUPAC, we learned that, right, Umam? You are not speaking about yes, it. And what is on the right hand side, cathode? And what happens at anode? Oxidation. And what happens at cathode? Reduction. Yes or no? Yes. Now see what will happen. You can see, zero to plus two that is oxidation taking place, or plus two to zero that is reduction taking place. And if you want to write a reaction about this. You can go with two method. The first method, the first method I'm going to introduce is your oxidation half reaction. You are going to write oxidation half reaction. What will be the oxidation half reaction? Zinc is converting itself into Zn plus two. Initially, it has zero charge. Now it has plus two. That means it lost two electron. Now you need to write the reduction half reaction as well. Cu plus two is converting into Cu. That means it gained two electron to become neutral. Yes or no? Both of you. Yes. Sir. Now yes, what sir. you need to do? If electrons are equal, you are going to directly add it. You, uh, in a complete reaction, you have never seen any electron. So as you can see, both the electrons are equal. So I'm just gonna. Directly add this, and I will get my correct reaction. I will get my correct reaction. In case if you haven't, in case if you haven't equal electron, if you have not any equal electron, like let's say one uh, one electron is on uh, on above reaction and two electron on the below reaction. So what you are going to do? You are just going to multiply with the number of electron. Opposite electron and and you will get same same electron. Then it will be cancelled. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. I will give the example first. You are going to write it. You know what this representation, this double slash is your called bridge.
are you done with this Done, sir. Austin, you are also done. Yes. So you need to understand how we are going to write a reaction from this and uh, from rep representation, and you can easily write a representation from reaction. First of all, I'm going to talk about the second method. Second method is very simple. This is your left. And this is your right. Now you consider this as a first container. So you are going to add left of the first container to left of the right container. Are you getting my point? Left will be added on left, like uh, Zn will be added in Cu plus two, and it will give you right will be added in right. Are you getting my point? This is very simple. Oh, mom. Yes, sir. Left will be added in left. The left will be added in left and right will be added in right. And you need to take care of the charge. Very important. Now I'm going to give you a representation and you are going to write a <clears throat> reaction for that. And that question is CR solid. Slash CR plus three double slash TV plus two slash TV. You are going to use both the method. <clears throat> Please do this. <laughs> okay, I'll check it. Yes. Any answer from you, Mamadin? 
<laughs> no, sir, I'm confused. Okay, no problem. See here. So this is the first method you are going to use. This is your anode. And this is your cathode. Now, anode oxidation happens. So OHR that is oxidation half reaction. CR is converting itself into CR plus 3. So you can see from 0 to plus 3, that means it lose 3 electron. Yes or no? It lost 3 electron, Homam? Yes. Please do reply. Now, for reduction, half reaction. From plus 2 to 2, it is converting itself into Pb. That means 0. <clears throat> neutral. How it will go into neutral? It will gain 2 electron. Yes or no? Yes, sir. <clears throat> now, if you are going to directly add it, the electron will not be cancelled because they are not equal, right? So what I tell, uh, told you to do whenever the electrons are not equal, then what you need to do, whatever is the number of electron here, you are going to multiply in the <clears throat> next equation, in the whole equation or whole reads. And whatever is the number of electron here, you are going to do this. Now what you will get after multiplying it, you will be getting 2Cr. <clears throat> and here it is 2Cr plus 3 and 6 electron and again here it is 3 pb plus 2 3 to the 6 electron and here it will be 3 pb. now you can see the reactions are uh, the electrons are equal and it will be cancelled easily and then you will be able to get this are you getting my point the charges yes. and the atoms both are balanced and if you want to go by the next, uh, the one method, which is in one step, you are going to left to the left. That means CR plus, then it will be added into PV plus 2. And right to the right, CR plus 3 and PV. Now, you can see <clears throat> the charge is not balanced. Atoms are balanced. CR, CR, PV, PV, but charge is not balanced. To balance the charge, Whatever is the charge here, you are going to multiply it here with the numerical value, not with plus 2. You are going to take 2 only. And here you can see 3. You are going. Now you can see same reaction. Are you getting my point? Yes. So it's very simple, right? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Can I change the slide? Yes. Okay. okay, next question about this. Ni plus Ni plus 2 double slash <clears throat> Ag plus slash Ag. Please do it. Uh, you should use the uh, for board exams you should use the oxidation half reaction and reduction half reaction method okay Austin you are not going to do it directly because they will yes. cut your mouth
Uh, let me know when you are done with this. <clears throat> Are you done with this? Yes. Okay. Uh, Humam? No, sir. One minute. Okay, take your time, but do it correctly. Let me just... Austin, please do this question. And don't worry about yes, this XM or anything. It will be written. Just uh, decide the cations or ions. You just need to concentrate on the concept and write the equation. And Humam, if you are facing any kind of problem in this, you can ask me, but try it. On your own. So, sir, I'm not getting a proper answer. Okay, no problem. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna ask you whatever I'm gonna ask you, just answer me. Okay. 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 Sir. What is this? Left. Which electrode is this? Anode. Anode. And what about this? Cathode. Okay. What happens at anode? Oxidation. Oxidation. What happens at cathode? Reduction. That's great. Now you are going to write oxidation half reaction. So we are talking about this only. Yes. Now Ni is converting itself from Ni to Ni plus 2. What is the oxidation state of nickel on the left hand side? Do you know about this? No, sir. Okay. So, did you write this point? Elemental form or molecular form? We don't have molecular form, elemental form, like metal. Whatever is the metal, direct writing. Uh, if you can see directly writing a symbol of this, that means it is in a, its elemental form. Yes or no? Yes, sir. So, whatever it, uh, whatever is in its elemental form. What will be its oxidation state? Plus two. Zero. Zero, okay. Zero. And what is the oxidation state of this Ni plus two? Two, one. Plus two. Plus two. See, <clears throat> in ions, whatever is the charge is its oxidation state. Are you getting my point? And in elemental form, metallic form, you can see like nickel, copper, whatever is written like the symbol only. 
or multiplied by you anything like if it has been written as 2 cu that doesn't matter it is in its elemental form so its oxidation state will be zero are you getting my point yes sir now the next point if someone some elements goes from zero to plus two that what does this mean <laughs> zero to plus two that means it loses or gains electron loses sir. how many electrons loses Two. How many electron loss? Two electron loss. So you are going to write, you are going to write here plus two, plus two electron. Now go for the reduction half reaction. Reduction half reaction in which section? Right hand section. And you can see you, it is going from Ag plus to zero. Ag plus going into Ag. What is the oxidation state of metal, silver metal here on the right hand side? Zero. What is the oxidation state of silver on the left hand side? Plus one. Very good. If something or element will uh, is going from one to zero, plus one to zero, what does this mean? Lose or gain the electron? Gain. Gain. How many electrons it gains to neutralize one. itself? One. So you are going to write one electron. Now, if you are going to directly add this oxidation half reaction and reduction half reaction, Will these electrons will be cancelled? Yes or no? No. No, because they have different electrons. So what you need to do, it's very simple. Whatever is the number of electron here, you are going to multiply. Only one electron on the uh, reduction half cell reaction. So you are going to multiply it by one. And how many number of electron here? Two. So you are going to multiply it by two. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Multiply in the whole equation. The first will be as it is because it is going to multiply it by 2. Are you getting my point? And the second one will be 2Ag plus. That will give you, sorry, uh, electrons I forgot to write. It becomes 2 electron. Now, if you are going to add it, mom, will it be, uh, will the electron will be cancelled, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> now, the required equation is Ni 2Ag plus. This is by mistake. And Ni plus 2. And then 2 is. Got it? Yes, sir. So please do write it. And whenever it is difficult to understand the concept, just after the class, you are going to revise it. Okay, sir. Very important. Please do write it. So for the... Uh, other question is it option C? Option C. Oh, let me do the let me just do it. Yeah, it will be. Very good. Very good, Austin. No problem at all. Uh Mom. Just uh, write it and then let me know. Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> Very good. So, Homam, you are going to do this as well. Control X. This is the representation. Also, this is the This is the representation. You are going to write the equation. If you are able to solve this correctly, then it's very, very good. I'll be happy. So, what we need to. Mm, just. Uh, Wait for a few minutes, Austin.
Are you done with this? <clears throat> Very good. <clears throat> now I'm going to give you questions like match the column. You know, this is lambda. M. This is your recent electrode potential. This is your kappa. And this is your G star. <clears throat> and uh, you need to match with the unit you can see. Please do this. Uh, you can go for A, B, C, D. And this is your P, Q, R, S. Are you done with this? Both of you? Yes, sir. Austin? Yes, sir. Omar? I'm not done. So are you able to solve this or not? If you remember the unit, you can see lambda m molar conductivity, which has a unit, semen centimeter square per mole. Kappa, this is your conductivity, semen per centimeter. G star, which is cell constant per meter. So only one left. E cell potential, I told you, electrode potential. So this will be. Is this correct of yours, Austin? Yes, sir. And Umam, how many of this you have done it correctly? Or two, sir. 
Okay, no problem. So, ma'am, uh, do you revise the lectures, or you don't have? Uh, you are not getting time to revise it or anything. Last because, class, only I revise. Okay, actually, by the time I will not revise it right now. Uh, then you will have to go through backlog. Right now we are going very very slow. When we are going to have the same rhythm, then the slaves will be uh, uh, going <clears throat> faster than this. Not that much fast. So I will suggest you to please do revise. We have done done only one chapter, and the next chapter, second chapter is going on. So please uh, stay with me. Okay. Okay. So what I do? Okay. Moving to the next. Next topic that is your. Electrode potential. Potential you already know from class ten, and this is also electrode potential. You can see what is the scenario here. It's very simple. See, there is a container in which you have. An electrod, which is made up of metal, metal rod. It is. Now there is two possibility. In case of you can see on the left hand side, oxidation took place on on the right hand side. Reduction take place. So there is two possibility. Either oxidation will happen or reduction will happen. So I'm gonna just take it as oxidation took place. are you getting my point this is metal m which is oxidized into m plus n in the same way on the left hand side if you have seen in the electrochemical cell this was made up of zinc in which zinc goes into zn plus 2 because zinc generally uh, generally uh, zinc exists in zn plus 2 in ionic form that's why we wrote zn plus 2 and here i am going to take metal m Goes into a general oxidation state plus n. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. We will take both the cases. Here you can see metal oxidizes. Metal oxidizes, so metal goes into plus n. That means it loses n electron. So this potential, electrode potential developed here, will be known as oxidation potential. if it will be a reduction then it will be known as reduction potential are you getting my point yes so i'm going to define it please do write with me the potential difference between the electrode between the electrode that means metal and its ions that means deep in the this is solution of salt solution of the same metal so the potential difference between the metal rod electrode and its ions under equilibrium please do write with me this is equilibrium if you are not able to read any of the word you can ask me under equilibrium is called electrode potential and here it will be known as oxidation potential because oxidation is going oxidation <clears throat> are you getting my point yes sir please do write it.
Let me know when you are done with this. Done, Very good. Now the next, this is your oxidation potential. In the same way, we can go for the reduction potential. So there is a container in which a metal rod is taped. This is your metal rod. Now this salt solution. Is go, uh, goes and reduce itself and stick to the metal surface. So here, the metal has a tendency to reduce itself and M plus N gains an electron to convert itself into M. Okay. And this N electron is from a rod. Always remember that. Now we can write the definition the potential difference between electrode that means metal and its ion in electrolyte Under equilibrium, the same definition. Equilibrium is called electrode potential. And to be more specific, this will be your reduction potential. Let me know when you are done with this. <laughs> 